Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A, Nine Skills, and welcome back. Welcome back to another one of our poor man Road to Glories beast teams. And honestly, bros, we might be looking at one of the best, if not the best, budget team in FIFA. This team is absolutely unbelievable. In this episode right now, I'm going to show you guys a team, and I'm going to show you three different games with this team where I got matched up against Icons teams, Team of the Year team, and just a really solid team. And you're going to see how I compete and how I actually beat those three teams with this team. I'm about to show you now this team is under I believe under 350k massive shout out to my man Luca Luca hit me up on Twitter it was his name's like Zlatan something PSG on Twitter he linked me a team says skills give this team a try guarantee you'll like it I said you know what it looks interesting let me play with it on this account right now I am 15 and 2 the reason I'm 15 and 2 is um I had this team, I built this Brazilian team with Pato, the Incredible Hawk, Inform Pato, Incredible Hawk, and, 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 and uh, Anderson Taliska, all Informs. It looked really, really good on paper, but the team was awful, and we lost like two games almost back to back. So, and then I jumped to this team, and since then, we've been on a run. Honestly, I believe that if we started with this team, we actually could have snuck a top 100 finish with this team. I know it's hard to believe. I know when you see it, I'm like, this impossible. We'll wait till to see the team that you see me compete against with this team. With that being said, Sec, bros, if you love this series, smash a big old thumbs up. Can we get 10,000 likes? We're using budget players, GOAT players, new teams. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying it. Honestly, bros, I'm enjoying putting this series together more than playing with my big team. But I'm going to talk about my big team. I'm going to talk about uh, uh, this team. And I'm going to talk about the patch all in this episode. With that being said, let's go, man. In the back, we got the Frenchman Mendy, man. Not the good Mendy. Not the big Mendy. Not the Mendy that everybody's running now in Ultimate Team. Just this Mendy right here. Now, as you can see, I played nine games with this team, and I'm 9-0 and with this team. And like I said, when you see the teams I've played against, you're going to be like, oh, you know what? Okay, skills, I see why you're saying it. Big boy Mendy is in the back, okay? Beside Mendy, we're going to have my boy Sanchez, who I actually absolutely um, hate in this game. I, I like proper, I proper hate him. I don't like Sanchez in this game. But listen, look, I can't, I don't, don't hate the game. Or I don't hate the play. Well, I'm, I'm going to say this time, don't hate, don't hate the player, hate the game here. Because I hated this player, okay? Uh, but now I got to say that he's just working, bro. He's working. He's. I don't even know if I, what I said that makes sense. He's working. So I'm not going to say nothing else. Every other team, I, every team I've put this man in, I've done poorly with him. But he went into this team and he fits so darn nicely, man. Also, there's going to be Bonatti, okay? Big boy Bonatti, a place for Juventus, 70 pace. Um, let me tell you something. FIFA 18, one of my favorite budget center backs was Bonatti, okay? I had never used him in FIFA 19. Um, so when my boy Luca hit me up, to rock out with Bonatti and Sanchez. A little bit shaky in the beginning because, like I said, every team I build with Sanchez on it, I do absolutely poor with it. But uh, for some reason, this is really, really, really working out. We're going to need a French goalkeeper, man. We're not, we, we don't need a French goalkeeper. But we need that link between Sanchez and my boy Loris here. And that's exactly what we get, man. Loris and Sanchez for the big hard link, the nice little full cam right there. You got the Frenchman, Mendy. And since we got the Frenchman, Mendy, man, we got to get a guy in here that's going to go ahead and link up nicely. Um, and that is going to be uh wait is is is, is Matuidi on this side or on that side I actually don't remember I think he's on this either way we'll keep it ah you know what he's gonna Mendy's uh, uh is gonna be on this side okay big boy Matuidi is gonna be on this side and the reason Matuidi is on this side is because uh Javon Cancelo okay now listen I run 4-1-2-1-2 um, this weekend on my mega on my mega team, I tried to go to 4-2-3-1, and I, I, I committed to it. I told myself I was going to play all 30 games in the 4-2-3-1, and it just wasn't a good fit for me. I'm a player that likes to attack. I'm a player that's aggressive. I'm a player that wants to attack all the time and just really, really wants to dominate and control a game. And in the 4-2-3-1, I just feel like I got to play possession. I feel like I got to play slow. I feel like I got to do this. I feel like I got to do that. I feel like, And I just don't want to do it, man. And I, I, I felt... I felt myself getting frustrated with the game this weekend, and that's something I don't do in the weekend league. If you watch me play with this team on my live stream, you guys saw that you guys see me all the time. I'm just laughing and having a good time. If I ever get frustrated, it's with myself because I know I put a bad pass, a bad shot, uh, you know, not not playing good FIFA. It's on me, but I never get frustrated with the game. This weekend, I, I found myself getting frustrated with the game on my mega team. I'm gonna speak about that more uh, in a minute, but I found myself getting very, very frustrated and I did not like it, man. It was simply because I went 4 2 3 one, so I'm gonna get out of that. Now, we're bringing Dembele. This guy's interesting, right? Because I don't like this blue card. Um, I don't like his gold card. This blue one is decent. His inform card is best version, okay? If you if you could fit his, in, if you have the coins to upgrade to his inform on this team, 
and get him onto the team, that's your best bet because that's the best version of of Dembele in my opinion. I think Dembele's gold card and this card's decent, but his inform is just absolutely out of this world, man. Now, you got yourself a nice little Dembele. Next, you need a big boy, Sonaldo, okay? You know how this is going to go, boys. You got to pick yourself up a decent, a cheeky little Sonaldo. We've bought and sold this guy so many different times that I don't even got nine games on him right now because I bought and sold him so many times. Uh, four games, six goals. I think I actually bought him, sold him, and bought him. Something happened. I don't remember. I think I wanted a Hunter. I don't forget, I, I don't remember, but four goal, four games played, six goals, one assist for my boy, Sonaldo. Absolute animal. Wait till you see the teams I'm playing against because these stats you're seeing, bro, this is serious because you're about to see the teams I played against, man. Um, now, I know on paper you're looking at this team like, mm -mm, nah, nah. But listen, let me let me break it down to you. Ben Yedder, one of the most broken cams in the game. Played this guy in a 4-1-2-1-2 at cam. Unbelievable. Five-star weak foot Dembele. He's not the craziest card, but he really, 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 really sets the team up nicely. Why? Because you got a five-star weak foot right striker. You got a five-star weak foot cam in Dembele. You got a five-star weak foot left striker in the boy Sonaldo. Five-star weak foot uh, front three. Unbelievable. They could shoot with their left. They could shoot with their right. Honestly, man, this, this front three actually beats some icons that you'll see. Like, literally, this team feels like an icon team. And I know you guys will be like, Skills, you're absolutely crazy. Bro, I had more fun playing with this team in the weekend league this weekend than I had with playing with my Ronaldo, my R9, my Zebu. I just had way, 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 way more fun, man. Now, we're missing one more player. Who's the player that I'm missing here, man? Why am I drawing a blank? I'm missing one player here, and I don't know who. Uh, oh, wait, is he a cam? Maybe I have him locked, locked up as a cam. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Big boy Erickson, my midfield. Bakioko CDM, Mutuidi left CM, both of them on stay back while attacking, and my boy Erickson right cam, let him roam, keep him on balance so he can roll. Here we go, I'm gonna break it down for you. 4 1 2 1 2, stay back while attacking on left back and right back. CDM, stay back while attacking, cover center. Mutuidi, stay back while attacking, he's your left CM. Erickson, right CM, balance, let him roam, okay? Your cam, stay forward, right here is your boy Ben Yedder. Left striker, my man Sonaldo, okay? Uh, stay forward and uh, 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 stay forward and get in behind. And that's the same thing you put on Dembele. I play Dembele right striker, because he's a lefty, even though he's five-star weak, I still like having him on there so he can cut inside on his left. And then Sonaldo on the right, so he, or, or, no, him on the right so he can cut inside on the left. And then big boy Sonaldo on the left so he could cut inside on the right. So that's how we play. Let me show you guys some teams that we freaking absolutely dominated. Check this out. If any of you guys build this team, I need you guys to let me know how it plays for you. Whether it's in weekend league or rivals or wherever you play with it. Game one, as you see, we get matched up against a pretty decent team. And we're going to walk out of here with a cheeky little 4-1 victory. Okay, in game number two, we're gonna get matched up against something unbelievable. Okay, I was actually live streaming at the time. My entire Twitch chat's like, put your started going all oh, your, your RIP, RIP. You lost, you lost, you lost. I mean, look at this man, four team of the years. Uh, one to watch Ronaldo. I mean, the team is uh, it by lock, the team's unbelievable. Um, and as you can see. We get to the 90th minute. This win right here is actually going to put us at 14 and 2. So we're in the middle of the weekend league, all right? This is not like, oh, well, you're in rivals division. This is the middle of the weekend league. And this was 15. This was to get us to like 15 and 2 or something like that. And you could just see what this team is going to do. And then we're gonna really, I'm really going to showcase the team in the next game. Now, um, if you play with this team, please let me know what you do with it, how you do. Uh, is it beastly for you like it was for me? But I'm going to go ahead and be 100% honest with you guys. That's show you guys the third game. We, this is back-to-back games. I got that Team of the Year team, and I got this team right here. Look at this, man. Four icons, Cristiano Ronaldo, a headliner card, a Christmas card. You know this guy's been playing since December or longer because he does have a Christmas card. We're going to tune into this game when it's at 2-1. to one. I have just scored, and he has himself uh, uh, an opportunity to maybe get a kickoff here. Now, with that being said, bros, if you play with the team, let me know on Twitter or in the comments down below how this team played for you. Um, I played with this team live with you guys. I, I, so what I do is I, I jump on Twitch, and before I used to just play my weekend league, hit record, and be there by myself. Now I hit record, and I still hang out with you guys at the same time. So you guys saw me playing with this team in person, like... And this team was just, oh man, it was such positive vibes, man. Now I want to talk about 4-2-3-1 and 4-1-2-1-2. and 4-2-3-1 is what everybody, their mama, their cousin, their grandmas are running, okay? Everybody wants to play defensive, drop back 4-2-3-1. I'm not knocking it. I, you'll never hear me knock it. This new patch EA put out, time finesse are gone. How do I feel about it? Time finesse should have been gone. Um, there should be no shot in the game that is uh, a 90% 
uh, accurate like shot, right? Only one on one should be. Last I've talked about this before with you guys. Um, the problem is, is they didn't nerf AI defending, and they also didn't nerf drop back, right? And they've they've nerfed, and we've talked about this before here on the channel. They they've nerfed uh, uh, constant pressure. They've nerfed time finesses. They've nerfed. Uh, 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 they've they've pretty much every big nerf that's come to the game has been an offensive nerf. We haven't seen defensive nerfs, right? I guess you could say, well, constant pressure was a defensive nerf. Constant pressure was kind of an offensive nerf because the way that you could just win the ball back, it just made you pressure so hard that it was more of an attacking playing style than this drop back. This drop back is 100% a style in real life, just like constant pressure is. Um, but and you can still run constant pressure in the game, but guess what? You get punished for it, and the punishment is your team dies out with Stam. When you play drop back, you should get punished. Now, you should still defend like an absolute animal. You should be able to defend and nobody can get by you. It's true. You're on drop the you're on you're on drop back, right? It should be so annoying. You should you should really, really, really make it annoying for your opponents. I agree with that. I don't agree with the outlet passes. I don't agree with how easy it is to counterattack in a 4-2-3-1 drop back. If you go 4-2-3-1 drop back, a lot of people are running like fast build up out the back. It, it counters too quickly. And because I'm I'm attacking you with all of my players. I'm pushing you back, uh, uh, but because I'm sending so many players forward to try to get behind this 4-2-3-1 drop back, you can counter me so easily, um, and it benefits the person to play drop back extremely much, right? Because AI defending so powerful that now you're in 4-2-3-1 with drop back. You now all of a sudden have two CDMs, a middle cam that's dropping back, a left CM and a, a right a right cam and a left cam that are dropping back. And you now have two left backs, you have two right backs, you have of four center backs and then you have a middle cam that's waiting just to intercept the ball and play out to the striker so quickly man um and the reason it's so overpowered is because a lot of people have these new these new like there's so much pace in the game now right with with juniors uh a uh, uh, rising star card or whatever it's called future star card with mbappe's team of the year with the amount of pace you could put out on those left cam and right cam right when your middle cam gets the ball you're on drop back but right when he gets it boom you have an outlet pass over the top through past your outside cams and all of a sudden you're in your like skills yo you you know how to run it so well run it i won't i'd rather not get top 100 i'd rather not get top 100 i'd rather not because like i i i i want to enjoy fifa i want to score a lot of goals and i know i know that if i want to get back in the top 100 because i'm not going to get top 100 this weekend if i want to get back in the top 100 i'm gonna have to start going super super try hard if that means go four two three one drop back um i'm gonna do it this weekend i'm gonna play divisions and if i can't find a strategy and a way to, to counter 4 2 3 one drop back for the weekend league, I'm going to do it because I'm going to start getting top 100 as well, just like everybody else. Um, you know what I mean? Because right now, I, I'm missing out. A lot of us, a lot of us that are not doing what these people are doing are actually missing out on, 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 on good finishes because it's so rewarding to do such, like, anti-football, I guess you would call it right now. And it's really, really sucky, man. Like, every nerf that we've seen has been a attacking, and we've seen nothing defensively. Um, AI defending has been overpowered the entire game, right? Crossing has been overpowered the entire game, but nobody really did it because of all the time finesses. So hopefully EA now, you know, may maybe now, guys, maybe now with the nerf of time finesses and people can see how broken AI defending is, maybe now EA will finally be like, you know what? Yo, people aren't scoring goals. So on my mega team, guys, I was, I think, 16-0. and And I went into a game. I, didn't, my, I had great matchmaking as well. I didn't get matched up against one top 100 player. Um, I barely got matched up against elite players. Um, the first guy I lost to, I went to penalties. 1-1, um, one, one, we went to penalties, and I lost. And uh, the guy was, I, I think he said he was like 20 and 4 or something like that. 20 and 4 or 21 and 4. Uh, maybe like 20 and 5, something like that. And then the next guy I lost to, um, the next guy I lost to was 19 and 4. Um, and I lost to him on penalties as well. So I lost to two guys on penalties that had four or five losses. Um, and I just couldn't score on them, man. I couldn't score, and I was in the 4-2-3-1, and this is the reason I won't play 4-2-3-1. I left those games with such a bad feeling in my stomach, man. My stomach was hurting, bros, and it wasn't because of anything. It was because I know I didn't give it my all to win that game. I thought, when I left, I said, man, if I was in this stupid 4-2-3-1 trying to defend and trying not to suffer goals, if I was in a 4-1-2-1-2, one, two, and two, I'd probably smack these two dudes. But instead, I wanted to play two defense. And they were both viewers, so I love you guys, man. I love you, both you guys, man, that beat me. I love you guys. I don't mean I would, like, really smack y'all because y'all probably still would have beat me. But at least in a 4-1-2-1-2, two, two, I would have given it my all, and I would have attacked and attacked and attacked and attacked. 
And, and if I would have lost, I would have known I, I left it all on the field, right? But when I'm in a 4-2-3-1 and I lose, I feel, like I, I feel like I didn't leave it all out there, man. I feel like, I, man, I, I'd rather go three back and lose by 10 than to go to penalties and lose in a 4-2-3-1. I know I defended. Well, forget that. I'd rather go three back and lose by 15 goals than to go to penalties and lose it because I played 4-2-3-1 defense. Ah, I'm not that I don't want it, man. Um, so going into next weekend, I'm going to change it up. Now, on this account, I'm loving it, man. I'm loving playing with the cheap teams. If you guys don't know what I'm doing this series, you guys link me teams, and I jump into the weekend league, and I try a bunch of different teams. And if the team actually is good, then I finally make a video on it. I've gone through two teams this weekend, uh, three teams, four teams. One made a YouTube video. Two, I didn't make a YouTube video because they were kind of bad. Um, and, and this one now, I'm making a video for you guys because this team is unbelievable, man. I had so much fun. I had more fun playing on PlayStation with this team than I had with my Xbox team. And again, it's because I was playing 4 2 3 one. Um, So realistically, bros, listen, man, like we got to play FIFA the way that we enjoy it, man. Like if we're playing 4 2 3 one and still losing games and you're getting mad at the game, yo, who cares, man? If we're going to lose either way, let's play a formation we enjoy. That's where I'm at. That's the whole point of the conversation I'm having with you guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get AI defending is overpowered. I get scoring is really hard right now. Okay, cool. But I know one thing, bro, one thing only. If I'm going to lose a game, I want to lose a game knowing I played in the formation I wanted to be in. I played with the players I wanted to play with. I played, you know what I mean? Like, going for 2 3 one just to try and win more games. Well, guess what? I didn't win more games this weekend. If anything, I had just as bad of a weekend um, as I, you know what I mean, as ever. So, um, yeah, man, going into this weekend, I'm going to spend a lot of Division One or going to this week, and I'm going to go back to the 4 one 2 one 2 possibly even the 4 3 one 2 I'm going to figure something out that feels good. Um, guys, this team right here, as you saw, it just dominated two incredible teams. I did not lose with this team. I lose with the other teams. This team came in, bros. It just absolutely felt good. The, the matchmaking I got was unbelievable. Three, four big teams in a row, and I just absolutely worked them. We got the result against them. If a team like this can compete against Icon and Team of the Year teams, I think it's worthy of a title of being one of the best cheap, if not the best cheap team in FIFA. So if you are looking for a team that's overpowered, if you're looking for a team that's super good, a team that can get you more wins and you don't have to break the bank, this is the one you got to go to, guys. With that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, that's where I'm at with the patch. I know I talked about it for a little bit. That's where I'm at, though. I'm kind of in a place where it's like, yo, if I'm going to be, if I'm going to play, if I... If I'm going to lose games in a 4 2 3 one, I'd rather be in something I want to play because I don't enjoy playing 4 That's what I'm trying to say. I don't enjoy playing 4 2 3 one. I enjoy attacking. Um, so, like I said, I would rather be three back and lose. And if that, if that costs me not to get top 100, then, hey, man, that's on me. Maybe if I really, really, really have to do it, you know what I'm saying, I will do some drop back. But I don't really want to, bro. I know there's a way to win and beast and feast without going drop back, without going 4 2 3 one, and I'm going to figure it out, and when I do, I promise you, I'm going to let you guys know, all right? It's been your boy, Double 9 Skills. I love your faces. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys want a beast team, look no further. We got you one. Thanks for watching. Booyah.